Hi, I'm Melinda and this is day two of the Back Our Chappies bus tour. We spent this morning with Chappie Bernie at Centenary State High School, serving breakfast to the kids and meeting with some of our supporters. In fact, eight other chaplains from the region were also there, which was fantastic. And we chatted with Chappie Felicity, so here's a little from her now. Well, my name's Felicity McLennigan. I work at Dara State School and Carroll Park State School. Um, I run at Dara, I do Fun Friends, which is an emotional resiliency program for kids. Um, and I run that with all of my preps. I also run Dara's Got Talent, which is a big talent quest we do, but it's more about the emotional and social development of the kids. So for my kids who maybe aren't so great academically, they can go, I'm actually really good at something else. And it's always lots of fun. At Carroll Park, I run a boys group and a girls group. So friendship groups for my younger grades during lunch. So to help them make friendships, maintain friendships, and then help others do the same. I find a real responsibility for my kids in that from the time that they arrive at school, I'm one of their safe people. So I love that I can be connected to them and I don't tend to lose that connection when they leave the school. I still feel like they're still my students even when they move on to high school. I guess one of mine is I've got a little girl I work with who's autistic. Um, she's not severely autistic but she really struggles with all that social side of stuff. Um, and so we put her into a girls group last year and I only had three little girls because they were all really struggling so I kept them together. And at the end of last year, after we'd been doing this all year and getting her there had been a pain in the neck, and one day one of the girls said, oh, can we have girls group tomorrow? I said, girls, I'm not here. And this little girl pipes in, that's okay, we can do girls group without you. And I think I nearly jumped out of the chair with excitement because they finally got it. Um, so that was probably one of my highlights last year. It was amazing. After Centenary State High, we headed to Claremont Special School where we were greeted by the school captain and deputy principal. We were served a lovely lunch by the students and Peter shared with the group at the LCC Forum. Um, today is actually a particularly special occasion uh, to come to, to the special school. Uh, 14 and a bit years ago, my daughter was born with a genetic syndrome called Brutus Montavi syndrome. There's only 12 kids in Australia that have that syndrome, so she's pretty special. And um, we've gone through that daily grief process that parents with a child with a syndrome go through. And to know that in our schools there are people who not only care for those kids in a professional sense as special school teachers and the administrators who run schools like that, but to have a chaplain who's there to care for the parents and to, to be paid to have time as a soft place to fall, like I've been described once. So now to finish off the day, we're on our way to Hatton Vale Uniting Church to meet with some of the LCC members from the Lockyer Valley and to have a lovely barbecue. See you tomorrow.